growing up, my parents drilled in my head the benefits of saving and being frugal. My dad would be like, Jamie, you just have to save something. A dollar, two dollars, five, ten, just something. And because of this, I always had money saved. I was able to go to the corner store with my cousins, get my Star Crunch, which is a chocolate rice crispy, and also get now laters and um, banana laffy taffy. These saving skills, these saving skills continued while I was in my teenage years and young adult years. And thankfully they did because around 26, I was laid off right before moving to Columbus. It took me nine months to find a job. It was 2009. And when I found the job, I was only making $10 an hour. So gone were the days of, well, way gone were the days of living in my parents' house, barely having any expenses to pay, and also having enough money to save. I was living paycheck to paycheck. And really the money was gone before the next paycheck. Mm -hmm. I was sad. This, this continued for a couple of years. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong because I was good with money. I became depressed, disappointed in myself. Who is this? I don't know this girl. Then one day I went to Wendy's because Y'all was tired of ramen noodles. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm tired of ramen noodles. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Wendy's, get me something. Went to Wendy's and it was late, so there was only like two cars in the uh, driveway. And so I went to go figure out my order and then I went to go look, get some cash. And ain't no cash. Then I went to go for my credit, my debit card. And then I remembered bills just came out. And I would actually be overdrafting if I got this Wendy's. Mm. And I sat there with a dilemma. Am I gonna use my credit card that I was taught was only for emergencies, like major car repairs? Or am I going to use it for this Wendy's? It started pouring down rain. The more it rained, the more sad I became. Now it's time for me to go. And at that moment, at that moment, I um, realized I needed to make a change. Yeah, I didn't know what, I was, what was happening but I need to make, make it a change right now, tonight. And I went home and I researched. I researched budgeting while I ate my Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> We're here now. <laughs> so I researched budgeting and I realized that I was not budgeting. I was not budgeting at all. I was tracking my spending. I was getting my paycheck, going back, looking over my statements to see how much money I spent, and praying and hoping I had enough money to take me to the next paycheck. And like I said, I usually didn't. I didn't tell anybody what was going on because one, I was grown. I gotta figure this shit out myself. And two, I was supposed to be good with money. Like, what the heck? But now I got my budget together. I follow people like the Budget Nista and Dave Ramsey and continue to get better and better and better. And then after a couple of years, I accomplished my goal of being debt free. And oh, I felt so light. I was no longer stressed. I 
literally had what they said you would get from having paid off your debt. I had a peace of mind. I was able to go to the car repair and sit there and not be like this, waiting on them to tell me the total. I said, they come up to me, tell me the total. Yeah, it's going to be 1100 Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Sugar mama. Exactly, period. Not sugar mama. <laughs> so, so that gave me so much joy and lightness. Um, as I was going through the journey and the results of that journey, I had people ask me what was going on, like what was I doing? I had a friend ask me, and she asked me to help her. So I helped her with her spending plan and budgeting, saving all of that. And she was able to buy a house. And she goes, Jamie, you can do this. You should do this for a living. Like, you're good at this. And it's not just about the money. It's not about the numbers. It's about the coaching, the encouragement that you get. Yeah, you're blunt but sometimes we need that. So I said, okay, let me look into this. So I looked into it and I found out there was a financial coaching certification. So I got my certification. And so I got my certification. And then last year I started my company Prep for Wealth. I wouldn't have been able to get this far without my parents teaching me a long time ago and throughout my life the benefits of saving because if I didn't have that savings account in the beginning when I was in Columbus, it would have been so much worse. And again, I started a company called Prep for Wealth where I coach individuals one-on-one -on -one to become financially stable through budgeting, saving, paying off debt, and setting relationship boundaries. And if you want to meet with me afterwards, if you need to, that's fine. I'll be available. Or you can also check out my website. It is www.prepforwealthcoaching.com. Thank you.